Hello my friend, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be cooking first and then cleaning at the end of the video. So we are going to jump right on in to the cooking. Today for dinner, I'm making cabbage and noodles. This is one of my very favorite meals to make for my family. Uh, it's inexpensive and it makes a lot. So first you're gonna start off by cutting up your head of cabbage and your yellow onion and put it in the same pot. Next up, grab your kibasi. I like the um, unskinned kibasi because it just makes it a little bit easier to eat. I do have two small children and having the unskinned one is a huge help. So I cut it in half and then I cut it in small sections from there. I like to cut it in smaller pieces for my children, um, but you don't have to cut it in half first. So you're going to cut up this entire package and put it in a separate pan. Once those are all cut up and put in a pan and a pot, um, I like to add a little bit of water into my cabbage and onions just so it doesn't burn and it steams it. Uh, but you're gonna cook those separately until they are almost done and then you're gonna start your egg noodles. At this point, um, about 15 minutes had passed, so the kibasi and the cabbage and the onion were just about done, so I decided to start the water for the egg noodles. Egg noodles don't take very long to cook, I've learned, so that is why I start them last. I just added in the egg noodles once the water started boiling and now I'm throwing in a stick of butter in with the cabbage and the onion to let that melt and I am looking at the sausage to see if it's just about done at this point it is because it's just starting to brown. Once all the ingredients are cooked and ready to go, I go ahead and drain my egg noodles. And then all you have to do for this recipe is just throw it into the one pot that the noodles were in and you mix it up. So while I am combining everything, I'll go ahead and tell you what you need for this recipe. You're going to need one head of cabbage, one yellow onion, kibasi, egg noodles, and a stick of butter. So that is all you need for this recipe. I love it because it is inexpensive and it feeds my family for a couple nights or it can feed a large family um, and there would be plenty. So this is definitely one of our favorite recipes to make.
and this is what it looks like it is delicious you guys definitely need to try it and if you do let me know in the comments or let me know on instagram if you made it but now it is time for the cleaning portion of this video so at the time of filming the dishes portion of this video, I was actually heading out to the gym in like 15 minutes and I was standing there. I was like, you know what? I have some time before I have to head out, like before I absolutely need to leave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these 15 minutes and do these dishes really quickly. So that's why you see me um, have two different outfits on while I'm doing the dishes. It's the same day. I just uh, used my time management skills and got the dishes done really quickly before I headed out.
I got everything washed and loaded in the dishwasher that I needed to before we left and now this is later on in the day after I got home from the gym and after I got cleaned up I'm going to wash these few dishes by hand and get my dishwasher running. Oh,
There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I'm going to finish up running the vacuum throughout my home. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on this video and watch. Your support truly means so much to me. If you are new here, I'd love it if you subscribe and stick around. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one.